what's going on today, ladies and gentlemen? Christian Hannah Horror here, and today we're going to be talking about a movie called Satanic Panic. Now, as you can see, the slipcover for this movie just says Panic, but if you pull this out, you'll notice it actually does say Satanic Panic. Reason is because Walmart decided the word Satanic is not suitable for their stores, therefore they made a variant slipcover for the movie. I talk more about this on my personal Facebook and on the Christian Hannah Horror Facebook page and on Instagram, so be sure to follow me there to get more personalized thoughts from me on that. But let's talk about this movie. So these Fangoria Presents movies, you know, they really won me over with the Puppet Master Littlest Reich film because I really enjoyed that movie. I thought it was really bloody. I thought it was really funny. It was really good. So when I looked up this movie and found out a little bit about it, the premise sounded freaking hilarious to me. It's all about devilish cults and, and this girl getting trapped by this rich group of people that want to sacrifice her. Watching this movie, it definitely lived up to the hype I had for it built in my head as well as surpassing it. The beautiful thing about Satanic Panic right off the top is, first off, the name rolls right off the tongue. Satanic Panic. What a great title for a name or a black metal band. If there isn't one out there, somebody make a band called Satanic Panic, I will surely listen to that. You know, the thing that's so great about this movie is its self-awareness to know this is going to be a funny, silly movie. We're not going to just force humor down your throat. We're actually going to try to make this really funny and interesting, and we're going to succeed at it, which I really thought they did. I've talked about it before. You guys know that I love movies about cults and demonic possessions and anything that has to do with the occult, so to speak. I love Ouija stuff. You know, I just, I love that stuff. It's my thing. Mind you, I'm not a Satanist or anything. I just really like the subject matter of that. It always interests me. So Satanic Panic starts out simple enough. It's this young girl who is working at a pizzeria and she's going to deliver pizza. It's her first day on the job. She's just trying to get her life in order. And when she goes to drop off this pizza at what's known as the ritzy neighborhood she's told that they don't like the tip sure enough she shows up to this house and a guy answers the door wearing nice clothes got his nice mustache freddie mercury style and everything begrudgingly signs a ticket doesn't tip when she goes to leave after not getting her tip her moped that she traveled on will not crank so she kind of makes her way into the house nicely not forcing her way in and she's trying to find the guy who signed the ticket for the pizza. When she doesn't, she sees that there's this there's a group of people who are worshiping Satan. And it's really, the house is gorgeous that they're in number one. The set design for this was incredible. That the house they got and everything, I don't know whose house this was. I don't know where it took place, but this house was immaculate and beautiful. Really cool house that they used. This movie touches on themes that kind of were touched upon in a movie like Society, about how the rich stay rich and stay above and stay tough and, and take control of the world. Except take the weirdness of society and turn that weirdness into Satanism. And that's the notion of how the rich stay in control and then have the power that they do through the power of Satanism and devil worship and things of that nature and it kind of makes sense the way they describe it in here i really liked it so as this girl gets captured by these people she's learning that they need a virgin to be able to do the rituals that they want to do to have their demon to have their their sacrifice now the rest of the movie i'll keep spoiler free i will say a few more things about satanic panic number one get this movie now go to your walmart go get this movie order on amazon now if you want the walmart variant just called Panic on here. Go ahead and get it, guys, because I foresee this not staying on the shelves long whatsoever. Um, I know my buddy Drew went and picked his up, and he liked it. I'm recommending this movie to people now because I want this movie to be seen. I have this really bad fear that this movie will kind of just disappear, and so it goes with a lot of movies, but I don't want this movie to disappear. I would love to see more movies like this because it was truly funny. This reminds me of movies tonality-wise like Deathgasm or The Puppet Master Little Shrike in a sense with in terms of the gore because it's so over the top. It's hilarious. I mean, the gore is so funny in this movie, yet nasty. There's so many nasty moments in here, but it's, it's in scenes that are so... Not necessarily lighthearted, but not so dark that it, it lends itself to so much humor. I, I, I can't recommend this movie enough. And then another interesting thing is uh, the gentleman's name slips my mind, but a usual Rob Zombie cast member in the movie is in this. And seeing a Rob Zombie cast member in a non Rob Zombie movie is just almost taboo, it seems. But the guy who was in here, he played the warden in Three from Hell, and he was great in the movie. I really thought he was funny. Uh, everybody in the movie was funny. The cast was great. Everybody acted the way they needed to for this kind of movie. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. You know, they just all hit the right rhythms with this. It was gory. It was funny. 
It was beautiful. Get the Blu-ray 100%, guys. If you get this, don't skimp for the DVD. As a matter of fact, this Blu-ray was cheap. I think it was 14 bucks, and the DVD was 12 Get this Blu-ray because the picture was amazing. I'm watching it on my 55-inch 4K TV, and it was mind-blowingly gorgeous. Great music in this as well. This is a fun movie. This is a movie you should watch with friends. Uh, get yourself a cold beer, uh, you know, just a nice beverage. Cuddle up with a blanket, you know, you and the wife or whatever, and the or the husband. Uh, this is a movie to have fun and laugh at, not to take seriously because the movie doesn't take itself seriously, but still respects the horror genre 100%. There's this fine line that has to be rode with these types of movies, and this rides it to perfection. So the story gets a little bit more deeper as it goes along into how the demonic people screw up and they don't exactly do things the way you're supposed to when you're worshiping Satan and things of that nature. It, it, it's funny, but it kind of makes sense. But as we, as I said, it doesn't have to make total sense. But it's a funny movie. I'm laughing now just thinking about some of the, the ridiculous stuff in this movie I saw. But there's also some really great moments. What's interesting is the budget kicks in in certain scenes. Some scenes... The gags are extremely practical and done by editing. And other scenes, you've got these really cool prosthetic guys that just like, oh, wow, here's something really neat. So uh, great pacing in this movie. Um, really, really good. I just really enjoyed this movie. So you guys know I review movies when they really affect me in a positive way. And this movie is going to be in heavy rotation at the Hannah House of Horror, guys. So please get your hands on Satanic Panic. As I said... Order off Amazon. You could probably get a slipcover of that version with Satanic Panic on the front. But if you want the Walmart variant as it was, go get it soon because I, I just fear it's not going to be at Walmart long. But like I said, as you see, the actual Blu-ray says Satanic Panic on there. So there it is, guys. I give this movie a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, just, just great. Fangoria, keep up the good work. Do more movies like this. The tonality is exactly what I like to see in movies like this. So thank you very much. This is Christian Hanna Horror saying check out Satanic Panic. Get your hands on it. And enjoy the movie. See you guys next time. <laughs>